Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is vlog number six. I'm gonna kick it off straight away by talking to you about the pickup futsal. I can't tell you how happy I am to just be out playing, seeing people and playing against different people. You don't even worry about playing, it's just seeing different people. Um, if you have lived in Melbourne, Victoria in 2020, uh, obviously the whole of Australia was in a lockdown in that first part of the year from pretty much, I think, middle of March to about uh, end of May, June. Then it opened up a little bit, but Victoria, as we know, went into a really big lockdown and like futsal, indoor sports centers, even community sport has been stopped for a very long time, almost eight to nine months of this year. So yeah, it's been super tough to try and get that kind of competition, even 1v1, it's been tough. Um, but finally now we're back out on the court, back out playing, so it's been awesome to be able to do that. Um, it's also like a nice thing to incorporate into my training because now for an hour and a half, I can actually go and just play and just enjoy, you know? It's like, it feels like this year, all we've been doing is just training, 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 uh, which basically we have. It's not feels like, it's, it's the actual case, it's a scenario. Um, so yeah, it's nice to get out now and play some futsal. Okay, so which leads me to number two. So I have changed my training and the reason why I'm changing my training, I've had some niggles or like little injuries. I wouldn't say injuries, but just inflammation or pain. Uh, the first one was like hip flexor kind of stuff in the hip. And then the second was uh, around my knee on my, on my left side. So yeah, it's just things that it hasn't stopped me, but I've changed my training now and I'm not doing as many long runs. Like that was great over the COVID period, but now that I'm starting to play again, everything is short, sharp, and I'm gonna give you guys some examples just over here. Uh, and you would have seen on my Instagram or also on my TikTok, as I'm now posting a lot more on TikTok. I think my TikTok's almost at 80,000 followers. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm obviously trying to grow YouTube, Twitter, um, Instagram is my, uh, my biggest place. So if you're not following on Instagram yet, make sure you jump over there because there's obviously a lot more stories, a lot more posts. I put a lot more content on there than I would on YouTube. Um, but yeah, trying to grow all the social channels. So it's, it's nice that TikTok is actually starting to uh, get some traction and starting to pick up, which is really cool. Um, but yes, these uh, these little niggles. So now I'm doing everything short, sharp. I'm trying to do a lot of agility work or it's not like true agility because we don't have the reaction. Yeah, you gotta have that reaction. It's always nice to do it with someone because then you can have reaction for colors. You can have that kind of awareness training as well, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, more agility ladder work, um, stuff with the ball where I'm sprinting with the ball or trying to move fast with the ball and then I'll stop and then I'll sprint off the ball back and doing some moves, that kind of stuff. So I've changed my training from how I've been training previously or earlier in the year because now we have the Friday futsal. So things have to be short, sharp, you gotta be switched on. Uh, again, it is just fun futsal, but it's nice to be able to train for that reason. So product drops. So I'm a little late with this one, I know, but I've been busy because now with everything starting to kick off again and everything opening up in Victoria, Australia, um, there's been obviously a lot more coaching, there's been a lot more uh, Puma stuff to do, which I'll get to in a second. But the Ultra 1.2, so there was a review on YouTube, I've also posted uh, some quick videos and skills on Instagram. Um, of the Ultras, 1.1 or 1.2, the 1.2 is easily my favorite. I think I said in my review, the only visible difference I can see is that the Evo Matrix knit upper goes all the way through the back of the heel. This, um, this is an imaginary boot here. It goes all the way through and around the boot, which is really, really nice. I'm sure that there's some other technical aspects. Your specifications, technical specifications, they go into the boot. If you hear a bell, it's the cat. Um, they go into the boot, but I'm not too sure of them, so I'm not gonna go into them into detail. He's playing, he's playing, he's meowing and playing. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the boot, but the 1.2 is easily one of my favorite Puma boots. Very, very comfortable, I really enjoyed it. And the second drop that I have to talk about is the Neymar Junior Future Z. Now, 
or feature Z, feature Z, feature Z, however you want to call it. Now, there was only 200 and I want to say 250, but it could have been 240, something like that. Boots of the future, the name of Future Z made the white with the yellow agility band through the middle. Super nice boot. I've got more that I'm going to be able to share with you later about this boot, but I can't right now. Um, however, the clothing that came with this, so the first Nemo Junior, obviously we saw the first Nemo Junior drop, which was just the black and white, which went with the Return of the King uh, release, the new Puma King Platinum. But the clothing that comes with this one is super, super cool. So there's a training outfit, there's a shirt and shorts, and it's inspired from the graffiti in Sao Paulo, which is really, really cool. Since last year, I traveled to Sao Paulo, went to the Neymar Institute with Rebel Neymar Junior Fives. That was an awesome experience. Um, it's actually nice. It kind of like, I don't, not that it made more sense to me, but it kind of gave it more context. It gave it more perspective, which was really good. That's, that's like, my hand looks really big there. Yeah, angle, angle of the camera. Um, yeah, it was nice. It gave it more perspective, more context, I would say. It gave it more context. Um, so yeah, there's a training shirt, training shorts. There's a tracksuit. The tracksuit is awesome. Navy blue, Neymar Junior across here, some Zs, the future Zs across there. Super cool product. I actually can't wait for the future Z to release properly. Then we can get a hold of the boot. We can get a hold of the boot because I don't, I don't believe that the, uh, the Neymar Future Z has come to Australia, but I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But those are the product drops. The last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about today, so I said there's been other work, there's been other things with Puma. I did a photo shoot with the other Puma athletes, which was super, super cool. We got to go into an embargo room, I got to see a lot of the Future Z, the colorways that are coming up. Um, we did some interviews, some talk around that kind of stuff street football, futsal, um, it was really cool. Um, it took about like 20 minutes, half an hour. It was really quick, super easy, but it was nice to be involved in that kind of experience as well. Um, and yeah, also very lucky that we got to even have a photo shoot this year. You know, it was nice to do, it felt like an event and we haven't had any events here in Victoria um, or even I suppose anywhere in the world. There's been no real, real events. Um, even though there's still been live sport, there's been, you know, some states are having people in stadiums. Some places have been doing events. I know I've seen some countries where there's events going on, but we haven't had that uh, here in Victoria. So it was fantastic to do that, to see everyone. Um, yeah, and to, do, to be involved in that kind of work again. Anyway, guys, this was just a quick vlog. Um, everything's just like gearing up now for Christmas. And as things, release or as I do different training or as there's more, yeah, like I said, things release as there's more products or as there's something to talk about, I'll be back on here and I'll be doing a more regular vlog. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to keep up to date. I'm gonna keep trying to keep you guys up to date. So every third or every three days, there is a new video on this channel. So you can definitely come back here. There will always be a video. It might be an unboxing, it might be a vlog, it might be match highlights, some futsal pickup. It might be a training video, it might be a tutorial. Um, I do have some new tutorials coming as well if that's what you've come here for. Anyway guys, until next time, stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled. Remember I said Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, you can find me at D10Football. It's the same on every platform and I will speak to you guys soon.